Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, hi class. Good. Good evening. Night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Nice. You're nice today? Nice. You're okay today? Nice. nice. You're nice. Muy bien. Uh, vamos. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night, Marlene. Esperemos a sus compañeros. Don't worry. We can still wait. Don't forget to write your name. Escriban su nombre, alisten su English notebook. Porque hoy vamos a tener un tema que sí ya repasamos, pero es bien, bien eh, importante practicar. ¿okay? And don't forget to write your name. Ahí veo a Wendy. Hace falta su nombre, Wendy. Si no le ayudo con eso, don't worry. Ayúdeme, teacher, porque si no me tendría que salir. No, no, no. Yo le ayudo, don't worry. Ok, eh, han chequeado WhatsApp, porque yo no lo he visto. ¿Algún mensaje, algún compañero? Please, help me out with that. Grupo de 8 a... Hay un mensaje de Brandon. Ah, Brandon, Steven. Sí. Okay. Dice que hoy no podrá asistir a la sesión porque está mal de salud. Muy bien, Brandon Stevens. Vaya, voy a ingresar yo a, a WhatsApp. Just give me one second. Okay, class. I'm ready to start with this class. Yesterday, we were practicing um, what topic? What was the topic from yesterday? What time is it? What time is it? So let me see how much you remember about this topic. Look what I have here. I want you to help me out expressing these ideas in a different way. Expresémoslas en diferentes palabras. Look at the examples. Number one, it's a quarter to four. Or it's 3.45. Anderson, Brian Anderson, number three, it's for you. It's 615. It's 615. Okay, you're mute. El micrófono, vamos a pedirle ahí. ahí ¿Cómo, está. teacher? No escuché. Number three, la tres, ¿cómo lo diríamos de otra manera? It's six. 15. Um, it's seeds it's after. Mm, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, me encanta la honestidad, ¿sabes? me encanta, aprecio mucho. ¿Quién le puede ayudar? It's 615. ¿De qué otra manera decíamos? It's 615. It's six, uh, no, it's ¿Se acuerdan? Ah, no. Esto es lo que necesito que cambien. Oh. Quarter. Quarter. Muy bien. Usaba quarter. So, how can I say it's 6.15 in different words? It's quarter. It's a quarter. After. After. Um, it's a quarter after. Six. 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 Uh -huh. Great job. It's a quarter after six. six. Ahí estamos muy bien. Un cuarto pasado de las seis. Ajá. Uh -huh. Number four. It's ten o'clock at night. Ana Maribel. ¿De qué otra forma puedo decir it's ten o'clock at night? No, teacher, no sé. Aquí está la pista. Ok, try. Probemos, aunque sea una vez, aunque nos equivoquemos. It's 10 o'clock at night. 
instead at night. Ajá, it's 10 o'clock at night. En lugar de decir at night, ¿qué puedo Bien. decir? Ajá. Bien. No. No. Por ahí alguien lo dijo ya. It's 10. PM, teacher. PM. No tengan miedo de equivocarse. Don't be afraid. No. Sí. Lo más que puede pasar es que aprendamos del error que cometí, ¿ok? Nada más. Solo algo positivo sacamos de los errores. There we go. Number five. It's three. Oh, oh, five. five. It's three oh five. Le pregunto a Eric. Me apareció por ahí Eric. It's three oh five. Uh, so yeah, it's five um, after three. Yeah. Great job. I really like that one. Muy buen trabajo. Number C. Thank you. Thank you. It's 25. To eleven, Wilbur. It's twenty-five to eleven. Number six. Are you there, Wilbur? I guess he's not there. Suleima. It's twenty-five to eleven. What when time is it? Uh, uh, ¿Cuál? Disculpe. Number six. It's 25 to 11. Sería... Oh, sería así. <laughs> Analicemos qué hora puede ser. It's 25 to 11. Oh. 25. It's 11, 25. 20, 25. 20. Faltan 25 para la Ah, muy bien. Ahí está la respuesta. Ahora en inglés. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, este... correcto. Sí. <ríe> ok, buena, buena respuesta. No darse en inglés. Faltan 25 para las 11. Now in English. Perdón, dice que acabo de accesar porque no podía. Creí que me había sacado del grupo como ya estoy en, la, en el otro módulo. Pero hasta ahorita logré accesar. Sí, y eso lo vimos ayer, chicos. Y le dije, sí, perdón, no, pero digo, no escuché lo que me preguntó. Nadie pregunta, no, ya me quiero ir, ya son hora de terminar la clase. ¿Ven lo que pasa? Siempre trato de hacer un repaso del tema anterior. Si no, no lo practicamos, se nos olvida. Bien, les ayudo con la lógica. Y sí, para usted, teacher, es fácil. No, para todos, ya van a ver. Number one, miren acá la información que tengo. Quarter. ¿Qué significa esto? Un cuarto. Un cuarto. Un cuarto. Y acá tengo la expresión to. O sea que a las falta. En otras palabras, y si lo pongo en números más fácil. Son las tres. Y 45. 45. Porque falta un cuarto para Son las cuatro. cuatro. En la expresión número dos, ¿qué necesitaba ver? PM. Con solo PM. que llevé a PM. ¿De qué otra forma puedo decir PM? Pero son las 7, no es de noche. Puedo ocupar la expresión. Evening. Y ahora estoy expresando diferente. 15. Aquí tengo una expresión. Que voy a cambiar. 15 es lo mismo que decía. Un cuarto. Un cuarto de hora. It's six. It's 6.15 or it's a quarter after 6. En esa tengo una expresión de tiempo, at night. En lugar de decir night, puedo decir PM. PM. Entonces se lo digo, it's 10 PM. Son las 10 PM. Acá no hay expresiones de tiempo. Solo tengo una hora. Son las 3 y 5. O puedo decir que 5 pasaron de las 3. And that's it. It's five after three. Acá identificar la expresión two. O sea, faltan para, para las once. ¿Cuánto falta para las once? Twenty-five. ¿Qué hora es exactamente? 
unas 10 y 35. It's yes. 10. 10. Um, Very. 5. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Eso es lo que quiero que reemplacen. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. It's 1. I am. A.M. puede I ser, am. or midnight. Muy bien. Midnight. Y acá, it's midnight. Hay una sola hora que se ocupa con midnight. Las 12 de la medianoche. 12. It's 12. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. And that's it. 12 o'clock. There we go. So please, no olviden practicar estas expresiones. Para que no las olvidemos. The topic that we have for today, it's way different. We are going to practice pronunciation. I really like this one. Okay, just give me one second. Right now. Bien, vámonos a la plataforma. Let me go to the platform right now. So we can have these two videos. We have two informative videos today so we can and we can practice this is your group es el de ustedes. section number five section number five intonation practice les mostré el tema no verdad aquí está no Okay, aquí está. Tengo muchas pantallas abiertas. Aquí es el tema. Before we continue, section number five, intonation practice, entonación. ¿Cómo voy a decir las preguntas? And the present continues with the WH questions. This is class number 14. Estamos a dos clases para finalizar el módulo. Muy bien. Intonation and the present continues with WH words. Look, if you go to the platform, you are going to find this video. I want you to listen and then we are going to practice, okay? Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Okay, pitch, pitch, es algo que se llama en inglés, cuando subimos o bajamos la voz, pitch, o sea, tono, rising and falling intonation. Entonces, ¿qué es la entonación? Es el pitch, que le damos cuando leemos, si es sube o si baja, ok, so a eso se le llama intonation, to the rising and falling pitch, ok, let's continue. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences. But in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Okay, listen to the example. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? 
This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, let me go back and we have here for WH example. questions. And look what we have here. There will be a falling. Acá, acá se queda. Okay, we have to type of questions right now. Identifiquemos qué tipo de preguntas tengo. In the first examples, I have questions beginning with what is this class? Is and are. What is that? B. That is the verb to be. To be. So whenever you see questions with the verb to be at the beginning, we are going to have rising intonation. What do we have here? Examples with WH words. Whenever you see that we have questions beginning with WH, it means that the intonation is falling. But, ¿será que toda la oración sube? ¿Toda la oración baja la entonación? ¿O qué es lo que cambia? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? ¿Qué es lo que sube que baja en entonación? ¿Qué identificaron? What's she doing? What are they doing? La Look. mayor fuerza de voz. Ajá. Se diría la que está a la par del signo de interrogación. En this case is up. Acá tengo un verbo. Sleeping. In this case, we have another verb. Doing. And the same here. I have another verb. Doing. Entonces, esas son las palabras que suben o bajan en la pregunta. ¿Ok? No es toda la oración. Solo son esas. ¿Ok? Listen. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Sube y baja la entonación. Ok, let's practice right now. Practiquemos la primera. Number one. Is she getting up? Is she getting, Is she up? getting up? One more time. Is she getting up? Is she, Is she getting, getting up? up? Ok, getting. Getting, getting up. Getting up. Getting up. Ok, sleeping. Are they sleeping? 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 There we go. Are they sleeping? Doing. What's she doing? 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 What are they doing? What are they doing? Very good job. So rising and falling intonation. Ya vamos a pasar con este tema. Now, let's move on. Vámonos con el WH words with the present continuous. Now, we are going to listen to some examples, but first, veamos, 14 students, solo hay 14 otra vez. Here we go. You know, I asked yesterday, pregunté ayer sobre la situación, Y sí me dijeron que no es posible. No es posible moverse de curso, sino hasta tener su certificado. Porque Insaforma se los va a hacer válidos hasta que ustedes tengan el certificado. Hasta ahí hace contar el nivel. ¿okay? El problema, teacher, que ellos mandaron información a nosotros nuevamente y entonces ellos, ahí fue que no era necesario sí. que nos los mandaran. Fíjense que... Eh, Sí, tienen razón y entiendo porque es su primer módulo. No saben cómo funciona a veces, pero en el caso de los módulos siguientes, siempre les van a pedir con anticipación que se inscriban para el siguiente módulo, como para ir reservando el cupo. 
pero lo que ustedes tienen que saber es que el curso que han iniciado deben de finalizar las 16 clases y hasta después moverse, ¿ok? En este caso, si, si tengo varios compañeros que ya revisé la asistencia y sí asistieron a su otro grupo. Pero bueno, creo que se van a comunicar con, con ellos. Vamos a ver, ahorita es... Today is what? November, ya no es octubre, clase. We are in November already. Wow. De, perdón, teacher, de ahora mandaron una notificación yes. para lo del día de mañana, que no vamos a asistir, sino que sería hasta el 4. Yes. Sería viernes. No, not really, sería el jueves. El jueves sí venimos, jueves no, y viernes. No, eh, la pasarían del miércoles al viernes. O sea, ah, ok. Siempre el jueves. Yeah. Está muy bien. So, November, ya estamos en Navidad. Para mí, noviembre, diciembre es Navidad. No sé si Ay, por sí. ustedes. Yeah, right? Ya se siente Navidad. So, sí. Alfonso Antonio, ¿es Alfonso Antonio en la clase? I guess he's not, right? Ana Maribel. Present. Excellent. Brandon. Steven. He was the one from the chat, right? El fue el de WhatsApp. No. Who can check? Creo que le envió mensajito a WhatsApp. Brian Alexander. Cindy Jacqueline. Present teacher. Ok, Cindy, excelente. Brian Anderson, did I mention it you? Present teacher. Yeah, Brian Anderson, right, ahí sí está. Daniela Michelle. Present. Ok, Daniela. Diana Lisbeth. Eric Orlando. Present, teacher. Excelente. Fabiola Pamela. Erlinda Amalia. Ingrid Maricela. Present, teacher. Ok. Jefferson Alexander. Present. Very good. José Luis Márquez. Del. Carla Guadalupe. Catherine Giselle. O Giselle. Present. Okay. Present. Ok. Laura Concepción. Present. Very good. Marlene Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Very good. Marlon Ernesto. Marvin Moisés. Mauricio Antonio. René Giovanni. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Very good. Wilber Samuel. Present. Okay. Wilmer Stanley. Xiomara Natalie. And Suleima Emperatriz. Present teacher. Muy bien, ahí estamos. Let's go back. And let's review the second topic for today. Questions, making questions with WH words. Okay, here we go. Ya vamos a ir a los ejemplos. Now let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. 
Okay. Now, let's try to make Let sense of which again to the conversation. WH questions in context. There we go. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm... Okay, ¿escucharon la entonación? What are you doing, Steve? What are you doing, Steve? Sube o baja la entonación. Rising or falling eh, intonation. Yo no digo que baja. Uh -huh. Let's listen again. Aquí le puedo otra vez. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm... What are you doing, Steve? Right, ya vamos a identificar, don't worry. Cooking. Why are you cooking now? It... Another question. Another question, listen. Why are you cooking now? It's Another two o'clock in the morning. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense okay. of... Okay, last time. Let's listen and time. practice. Here we go. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, we have three examples. Can you identify? Let's identify this one. Mira la primera pregunta. Inicia con a WH word. What? What? The second question, it is with a WH word. Why? And the third question, again, yes. using the expression what. ¿Qué dijimos cuando tenemos WH words? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Sube o baja la entonación? ¿Quién baja se acuerda? La baja. baja. Entonces, Steve. Now. En making. Va a bajar la entonación. What are you doing, Steve? What are you making? Why are you cooking now? Baja la entonación. There we go. But now let me ask you a question. Tell me what his name. What his name? Steve. Steve. His name Hi, is Steve. Steve. And what is Steve doing now? What is he doing now? Uh, cooking. He's cooking. Oh, listen, he's cooking. He's what time is it? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, really? In the morning, imagine it's midnight. So, why is Steve cooking right now? Why? Porque está cocinando ahorita. Why? In reality, ah, he's hungry. Ah, very good. He's hungry. Nah, he's really hungry. But imagine, he's making a pizza because he's really hungry. So why are you making a pizza? Because I'm really hungry. How can you describe Steve's mom? Usemos adjetivos para describir personas. ¿Cómo la describen a ella? How would you describe Steve's mom? Is she angry? What is your opinion? Yes, mm. she is. Sorry. Probably. Probably not. Yo creo que no está enojada. Is she angry right now? I guess she's not. So how is she right now? Sorprendida. Uh -huh. Ah, and how do you say sorprendida? <laughs> ¿Alguna idea? ¿Cuál adjetivo usamos para sorprendida? Sorprendida. O oh, si no, aquí hay otra. Miren otra respuesta. She's saying, I am getting hungry. Ah, oh, ya me está dando hambre. Let's eat. 
Yo creo que no está enojada porque incluso le dice comamos. Let's eat. Okay, comamos. So she's not angry right now. And something that I want you to show you, this is extra information. Miren, tenemos el verbo cooking and we also have the verb making. Cooking and making son dos verbos que pueden ser utilizados en la cocina. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Cooking es algo que cocina. Hay que preparar aquí, por ejemplo, la tomato sauce. No es preparando, ya la está cocinando. The pizza, he's cooking the pizza. Baking the pizza. Pero todo el proceso, como rayar el queso, partir aquí los ingredientes, ahí usaríamos making. Making, hacer con mis manos. Cooking, utilizar, en este caso, the stuff. Or even if I'm baking it. And that's it. Okay? This is just extra information. But now, we are going to look at some examples right now. Here we have the present continuous with WH questions. For example, can you tell me who is sleeping right now? Who is sleeping right now? De la imagen, ¿quién está durmiendo ahorita? Victoria. Who is sleeping? So, Victoria. can you give me the complete sentence? Marcus. Marcos, no, he's not Victoria. sleeping. Victoria. Victoria. So, Victoria is sleeping right no. now. What is Marcos wearing right now? ¿Se acuerdan de ese verbo? Wear, wearing. What is Marcos wearing right now? He is wearing pajamas. He is wearing pajamas. Who is having breakfast? Who is having breakfast? Having or eating breakfast? Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom. Sí, they are having breakfast. El verbo have es similar a eat. Having, eating. Igual, having breakfast, eating breakfast. Where are Tom and Sue? Where are they? New York City. They are... They are, they are City. New York City. Where is Marcos right now? Where is Marcos? Mexico, Mexico City. City. He's in Mexico City. What time is he in Mexico City? It is six, six in the morning. Ah, six in the morning it's or six a.m. What time is it in Los Angeles right now? It's it four, four a.m. Four. Or I am in the morning. Four in the morning, excellent. Or we mm. can say it's midnight. There we go. So this is the exercise that we are going to have right now. I need you to go with your classmates. Y vamos a practicar esta. Meaning rising and falling intonation. This is the one I guess. This is a listening, but let me ask you, sin tener que escuchar el audio, ¿será que podemos identificar cuáles van a subir y cuál entonación va a bajar? Number one, ¿con qué inicia esta? El verbo to be. Con el verbo to be. To be. To be. ¿Y qué decía nuestro primer video? Sube. Eso sube. Sube. Ah, aquí se las ilustro nuevamente para que no olvidemos verbo to be rising wh falling así tienen que manejar esta información verb to be rising intonation rising w. intonation ajá en wh questions falling así que aquí está miren esta es Rising intonation. Rising intonation. ¿Qué es lo que va a subir? Esto. 
¿Cómo la diríamos? Who can try? ¿Quién, who wants to try? Who wants to read the question? Me, teacher. Okay, go please. Try. Are you wearing a coat? One more time. Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? Okay, rising, there we go, excellent. In number two, what do we have here? A WH word. What is going to happen? Is this rising or falling intonation? Falling. Falling, falling. falling intonation. Okay, who wants to read this one? Who wants to practice? Quien quiere practicar? Who wants to practice? What are you doing now? Okay, doing, one more time. What are you? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing what now? Are you doing ah, now? No what are you doing now? Now, what are you doing now? Falling, okay, now. Oops. What are you doing now? Okay, so please. Van con sus compañeros, les queda en la three, four, five. And six. Probablemente ya algunos lo completaron, pero no se preocupen. This is just a speaking practice. Les doy dos o tres minutos y luego regresamos. Go, please. Here we go. Vamos. Ejer ejercicio 5.7. 5.7. Go, please. Hello, René. No lo había visto, René. Okay, remember 5.7. That is the one. Estamos entrando a la plataforma que no lo teníamos. Teacher, okay, don't worry. Take your time. We still have time. ¿Alguno? Ajá. Eh, ¿Alguien quiere compartir? Yo no soy en la plataforma. No me he metido ahorita. Ok, compartiré yo. A ver. A ver, se mira. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Perdón. Ah. Espérame, que tengo que ingresar todavía en esto. Ay. ¿Ya entró usted? No, eh, ahorita objetivo, pero ¿qué lección es? Perdón. Eh, la 5.7. Pero, pero ver. 5.7. Ah, sí, ahí está. Ya la tengo, pero ¿cómo comparto? Si no sé cómo. Pero, no se preocupe. Pantalla, espérenme que me está cargando. Pero ¿cómo se hace? ¿Me Mi... puede... ya que ah, está para ahí. compartir. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, en medio de chat. Ah, eh... compartir pantalla, dice. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, en efecto. Ok. 5.7, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Vaya. Esta es. Una... A ver. Are you wearing a coat? Racing. Racing, uh -huh. yes. Vamos a pedir. Vamos a pedir este. Inform <laughs> sí, información adicional, porque. Sí. Como le digo, yo estoy del teléfono y no sé cómo compartirlo. Yo creo que ya nos toca salir. Ahí está la teacher. <laughs> teacher, no, no podemos compartir para. No, 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 escucha, mm. solo que esperemos. Si sí, es que mi micrófono está fallando, yo es que me voy a hacer. Que sí, me escuchan. Yes. Sí. Ay, sí, la escucho. Sí. 
Ah, no tienen la plataforma. Don't worry, vamos, hagámoslo juntos. Number, number three, identifiquemos. Is rising or falling? ¿Qué piensan? Uh, Latin number three, what time is this? Um, Don't worry. Fall, fall. Fall. Uh -huh. Con verbo to be, rising. Si es con uh -huh. Falling, okay, number three. Falling intonation. Falling. Muy bien. Falling. Falling. Falling intonation. In number four. Mm. Igual, falling Ring. intonation. Ring. Perdón, no. Lleva rising. ¿Cómo se lee? Rising. Rise. Mm. Viene del verbo rise. Rise. To be. rise. rise. Ah, rising. Con rising. el verbo to be. Rise. Okay. So it's right. where to be. It is rising intonation. In number five. Mm. Okay. It's fall. Falling. Fall. Falling because we have mm -hmm. a WH word exactly. And how about number six? Rise. Así se dice. Rise. There we go. Rise in intonation. Okay, let's practice reading. Practiquemos leyendo. Number one, Ana. Practice with this one, Ana. Vamos. Yo sé que puede. Ah, es que no me sale, pero voy a intentar. Esa es la actitud Are, es la que quiero escuchar. Excelente. Are you. Where is a coat? Ajá, coat. Vamos otra vez. Coat. No se preocupe. Are you wearing? Are you wearing a coat? A coat. Sube. Coat. A Are coat. You wearing a coat. Muy bien. Número dos, Wendy. Number uh, two. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Now. What are Bahana. you doing now? What are ah, you Bahana. doing now? Muy bien. Number three, Ana. What? Thing is it? Ah, ¿se acuerdan de esa pregunta? La vimos ayer. Este es el time. Time. What time? What time, What time it is? Tenemos oh. it. 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 Y según la pronunciación, it. is it? Is What it. time is it? What time is it? Uh, What time is it? Excellent. Number four. Wendy, can you try? Is it my nine? Uh -huh. It is. Is it? Is it? Is it midnight? Midnight. Is it midnight? Recent... Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Is it my midnight? Mid, mid, midnight. midnight. Muy bien. Number five. What, Gold, what uh -huh. color is he? Uh, T-shirt. He. T-shirt. No, no sé. Kaya, what color is his t-shirt? What color is his t-shirt? Kaya, what color is his t-shirt? T-shirt. Muy bien. What color is his... No, what color is his t-shirt? What color is his t-shirt? His t-shirt. Or baja no shirt. No, baja shirt. Okay, are you from Thai? Thailand. Are you from Thailand? Thailand. Are you from Thailand? Muy bien. Are you from Thailand? Teacher, ahorita que estamos en la plataforma esa de las cinco, yo la antepenúltima no le he podido contestar dos de la antepenúltima. Ah, ahora creo la hacemos cinco, también. Siete, cinco, catorce, creo que. This one, cinco, trece. Ah, oh, trece, ajá, creo que esa. Sí, es. también ahorita la hacemos. Don't worry. Ya me imagino cuáles son, but don't worry. Es que son dos que no puedo, no sé, que ya me he equivocado en un punto, She's no sé. watching TV, debe ser, and she's typing. No. Oh, no, la, la no, número really? dos. <laughs> ok, ahorita la veo, la número dos. Es donde Hasta se oía como que se está bañando, pero no, no le puedo poner, le puse eh, como que si se está nadando, se está bañando, se, no, o sea, no, no le encuentro cómo ponerlo. La número dos, swimming. swimming. Y la antepenúltima de esa también creo que se oye. Number seven, playing uh -huh. tennis. Play no, ah, pues no, no, esa sí la pude encontrar, la, la siguiente creo que. Typing. La, ocho, eh, la última, la typing, última. Typing, uh -huh. es la acción de teclear, uh -huh. typing. Dije, es que yo le ponía writing como escribiendo o trabajando. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Es, es este, tecleando. Ajá, uh -huh. type. Uh -huh. La puedo escribir aquí en el chat, don't worry, ya se la voy a enviar aquí en el okay. chat. Ok, sí, porque okay. no la pude, no, no pude saber qué es. Ok, sí, creo que ese ejercicio está bien confuso. Hasta sí. a mí me costó al final, pero sí, hasta de memoria me las puedo ya. <risa> yes, ok. So let's go back, please. Okay, gracias. Great job.
Okay, time to come back and to listen to your classmates and to you as well. Remember, this is just pronunciation, intonation. That is very important, you know? At the end, um, you're just going to learn. No sé, pero en mi caso, no ando pensando, es falling, rising intonation. No, solo aprendemos ya, incluso la estructura, a memorizar tanto la pronunciación que se hace en una forma inconsciente. Lo mismo que en español, ¿ok? Así van a aprender a hacerlo ustedes. In my case, I don't know how, ni idea cómo es que puedo pronunciar las, eh, las preguntas. Es práctica, simplemente. Practice and practice and practice, ¿ok? And that's it. So let's go to the exercise and we are going to practice right now. Rising and falling intonation. Okay, ya volvieron todos. Here we go. Let's go, Lee. What did we say? No, no es este. It's not that one. It's this one. Number one, is it rising or falling intonation? Dijimos que las de verbo tuvieran. Rising intonation. Rising. 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 So, ¿cuáles son las del verbo to be? Number one. Rising. Number four. Four. Number four. And number six. 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 So how about number two? Falling. Falling in, in the case of number three. Falling también. Falling. Wow. And in the case of number five. Falling. Falling también. Falling, okay. Let me check. Great job. Primera parte. Vamos con la pronunciación. A ver cómo nos sale. Number one. Catherine. Catherine Bonilla. Can you um, can you read this one? Um, read number one. How are you wearing um, coat? One more time. Repeat that. Are you are you wearing wearing her coat? Ah, pero coat. Yo escucho plana la, la entonación. Tenemos que subir eso. Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? ¿Cuál es de las dos? Es? Are you wearing a coat? ¿Cómo? Uh, racing. Ajá, it's racing. Y eso es lo que sube. Tratemos de hacerlo. Vamos. Are, are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? A coat. coat. Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing coat. a coat? Uh, uh, más o menos, ¿quién puede tratar con la una? Who wants to try? Coat. Are you wearing a coat? Coat. Muy bien, sube. Otra vez, Catherine. Yo sé que puedo hacerlo. Coat. Vamos. Coat. Are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? Excellent. Coat. Now you did it. You did it great. Number two, falling intonation. Daniela. Y luego va a stand. Okay. Daniela, number two is for you. Daniela, ahí estamos. There we go. Read it. Well, well, espérame. Well, What are you doing? No. What are you doing? No. Now. Now. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Miren, va para abajo. What are you doing now? One more time, Daniela. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Now, now. <laughs> what are you doing now? Excellent. Voy a insistir hasta que escuche bien. Muy bien, Daniel. Stand. Number three is for you. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? One more time. Is it? 
Again. What time is it? There we go. What time is it? There we go. Excellent. Laura. I know Laura wants to participate. Read this one. It's meeting. Uh -huh. Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> midnight. It's midnight. It is, pero primero va a is sit. Is sit. Vamos. It is is it midnight. midnight. Is it midnight? It is, it is midnight. Is it midnight? Is, is it midnight? Otra vez, is it midnight? Is it, is it, is it midnight? <laughs> one more time, is it midnight? <laughs> I know it you can do it. Go, go, go. Is it midnight? It is midnight. Pero es que yo escucho it is, yes. Is it, is it midnight? It is, is it midnight? Aquí, aquí está el problema, no es ni siquiera en midnight. Is it, is it, is it, is it. it One more time. Is it midnight? Ajá. Is it midnight? Okay, excellent job. <laughs> Great job, you did it excellent. Suleima, I know you want to participate. Number five is for you. Okay, Sería, what color is t-shirt? His, his, is his. His. What color? What, what color is his t-shirt? Uh, okay, what color is his t-shirt? T-shirt. Baja. Baja. T-shirt. Boring. Okay. What color is his t-shirt? What color is his t-shirt? Okay, excellent pronunciation. Ingrid, Ingrid Maricela, do you want to try with this one? Number six. Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Thailand? Are you Thailand? from Thailand? Excellent, you got it right. Are you from Thailand? Yeah. There we go. Muy bien, clase. Remember, this is just practice. Tienen que escucharlas y practiquenlas todas las veces que podamos, ¿ok? We still have like five minutes. Sí, tenemos cinco minutos. Vámonos a este. And let me show you the picture. And here we have some questions. For example, who's sleeping now? Who's sleeping now? Who's sleeping now? Victoria is sleeping. Victoria, Victoria, muy bien. Victoria, sujeto, is sleeping now. Vamos a repasar la estructura antes de ir al ejercicio. How do I make sentences? Subject, verbo to be, plus, Verb with the ing form plus a complement. Right. Complement. For example, Victoria. Victoria. Verb to be is, and then I have the ing form. And what is the complement? No. no. I examine subject, verb to be, verb with the ing form, and a complement, right? Victoria is sleeping now. And that's it. Very good job. Let's take a look at the other one. What is Marcos? Wearing, what's Marcos wearing? What is Marcos wearing? He's wearing pajamas. Look at Marcos, he's wearing pajamas, yes. He's wearing pajamas. So A, B, or C. He's wearing pajamas. C. C, C. C. muy bien. ¿Por qué no esta? He's. Wear pajamas. Why not? Porque dice que Porque no está en, en no lo está tiene usando. Que Ajá, wearing. tiene que ser wearing, no sé, el ING. ING. Y en this one, he wearing pajamas. No lleva el no? verbo to be. No lleva el verbo to be. Así tienen que sí. manejar la gramática, saber 
yes. justificar por qué no, por qué esto sí y por qué esto no. Who's having breakfast? Redactemos la respuesta. Who is having breakfast? Is it James and Anne or Sue and Tom? Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom, because it is 7 a.m. Entonces, ¿cómo va mi respuesta? Sujeto. Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom. Verbo to be. Is, are, or am. Are. Are. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Having. 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 ¿Y el complemento? No estoy segura si les pide punto o no. Bueno, no, no. no pide. What is Celia wearing? ¿Qué está vistiendo Celia? Let me look for Celia. She is here. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice traje? Ah, ¿Quién se acuerda? ¿Cómo se dice traje? Sweet. No, sweet. Sweet dulce. Sweet dulce. Sweet. Sweet. Muy bien. Sweet. Sweet. Red. Un traje rojo. A red suit. So she is wearing oh, a traje. suit. She's wearing. It's not a dress. It's la... not jeans. So the, letter... the first one, uh, letter A is the correct one. She's, she's wearing, wearing a, a suit. suit. Muy bien. Why? Meaning, por qué? Why are James and Anne having lunch? Why are James and Anne having lunch? ¿Por qué están desayunando? No, almorzando. Este tiempo, porque es mediodía. Okay, because it's noon. So James and Anne. It is no. Verbo to be. Y tengo have. Uh -uh, incorrect. Necesito ing. Having. Subject. Pero me hace falta el que acá. Verbo to be. El verbo to be. Incorrecta. James and Anne. Verbo to be. Having. This is the correct one. Correct. Sigue todos mis pasos de la estructura. There we go. Because it's noon. Where is Andre working? Veamos a dónde está Andre. Andre, it's right here. In Where Moscow. is he working? Moscow. Moscow. Okay. Moscow. He's working in Moscow. Ah, not really. It's not in Spain. Moscow. It's this one, the correct one. Veamos si está bien. Ahí está clase. And that's it. Y la última. Esta creo que le dio problemas. Acciones que están pasando. What is Mary doing? La 4 me la preguntaron mucho. She's watching TV. La 8 también me la preguntaron muchísimo. She's typing. No sé si había otra que le daba problemas. O no lo han hecho este. No, teacher. Yo todavía no he llegado ahí. Ah, bueno, hay dos respuestas. She's watching TV. Es la más difícil. Y she's typing. La número 8. So, what la do you need to do? La número dos. What did I tell you? ¿Qué, qué, what, qué? Let me voy a chequear ahorita. Number two. No recuerdo qué dije. Es como Number que si se estuviera bañando, pero. Swimming. 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 She is swimming. El verbo nadar, nadando. Sí, sí. Yo me acuerdo que lo puse, pues quizás al punto o algo tenía más. Ok, let me show you. I'm not supposed to do this. De hacer esto, pero aquí está. She's driving, she's swimming, she's eating. Solo para que se den una idea, hay demasiadas posibilidades de respuesta. Así que intenten, try hasta que les salga correcto, ok. En mayúsculas, en minúsculas. Miren esto. Uy, what did I do? ¿Qué hice? Ahí está. Mayúsculas, minúsculas. Y si sí, en serio no entiendo, preguntemos en el chat. O me preguntan a mí directamente. Eh, ya pueden completar, miren, toda la sección número 5. Y vamos a quedarnos el jueves. Eh, 
No, cuando, mañana, right? Mm. Do we have class tomorrow? No. No. Ah, Mañana, no. jueves. Ah, ahí sí todo activa en el micrófono. No, teacher, mañana no. Ya ven que le sirve el micrófono. Ya, hasta la cámara me activan. Esa clase, ahí están todavía. Hasta el jueves. Jueves y viernes nos quedamos con el repaso final, ¿ok? De okay. el final exam class. It was okay, a very teacher. nice class. Gracias por participar. No tengan miedo. Practiquen su inglés. Y nos vemos on Thursday, ¿ok? Have a good night. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you later, teacher. See you later. See you later.